How you doing? I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a sidechain gate in Reaper using the Regate plugin that comes with Reaper. So the purpose of creating a sidechain gate is usually to start off with a legato sound or long sound like guitars or synths or pads or even piano and gate or cut up the sound using a more percussive sound to trigger that gate like a kick or a hi-hat or some percussive sound. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in Reaper and you could apply that to your own sounds. So in this example, I'm gonna use some guitars that play long notes. We have a guitar folder here and these are the two guitar tracks, pan left and right. Let's hear what they sound like. Now let's cut them up using a side chain gate triggered by a kick part. This one right here. We'll start by going to the folder here and adding a gate. We'll double click down here, choose the regate, and let's put this before the EQ or any other plugins you might have. This way the cutting up part happens before the other effects. So now if we just start gating, let's turn the kick drum off. It's based on the sound on that track or the guitars. So what we want to do is side chain it or have it keyed from another track. In this example, it would be from the kick track. So we're going to do that right over here with this detector input. Right now it's set to main input, left and right, so it's triggered by the guitar sound. But let's trigger it from the kick. And the way to do that is to set up a send. So let's turn the kick back on, go to the routing, and drag it down to the guitar folder. And if we drop it, it opens up a send right here. But let's close this for a second and open it up from the kick tracks routing. Here's our send to the both guitar folder. We're going to change this to pre-fader post effects. The reason you want to do this pre-fader is so that if you change the kick level on the track, it's not going to affect how it triggers the gate. So the level here is completely separate from the level here, which is what we want. Now right now it's sending from channels one and two to channels one and two on the guitar folder. We don't want that. We want to separate it. So we're going to use the audio from channel one and two and send it to three and four. So you can choose right here. Now, if you notice, there's only two channels to choose from because a guitar folder over here only has two channels, but we can change that. Either from here, we can switch it to four or we could leave it on two and go right here and choose new channels on receiving track. This is going to add new channels right now to the guitar folder. So we'll choose three and four. And now if we go back to the routing on the folder, you see there's four channels. Two channels for the audio and two channels for our trigger or our side chain. And we can see it again here from the send. Audio one and two is going to three and four on the guitar folder. So now let's close this. Go back to our gate and switch the detector input to auxiliary input left and right, which is going to be three and four, as we can see up here. Input three and four goes to auxiliary input left and right on this gate plugin. So now, this gate is going to be triggered by the kick drum. See it right here? Let's turn off the kick drum in the master parent send so we don't hear it anymore. But it's still going to be triggering over here. See the level? So now it's just the threshold on this gate. So the percussiveness of the kick drum 
affects the guitar. Now we could really use this to tell the dynamics of the guitar sound using the attack, hold, and release. Check it out. With a quicker attack, it's going to be more percussive. With a longer attack, it's going to fade in. Not as percussive. With a longer hold, the notes will be longer. And with a longer release, the notes are also longer, but they fade out. Let's hear it with the kick. So the kick part dictates what the guitar is doing. It used to sound like this. And now it sounds like this. Now let's try it with something different. A faster pattern played by a hi-hat. Let's delete this send, and instead use a hi-hat. We'll mute this one, unmute this one, and hear this part. It's a 16th note pattern. Let's trigger the guitars with that. Let's create a send, a pre-fade ascend, switch this, to go to three and four, which is already set up because the folder already has four channels. Go back to the gate. Let's turn off the hi-hat. Let's put the attack, the hold, and the release back to the defaults and adjust the threshold. Now we have a 16th note pattern, which again we could play with the attack, hold and release, and recreate the dynamics for the sound we want. Before it sounded like this, and now it sounds like this. It's a pretty cool effect, and we can use this for anything you want. A synth or a synth pad, some long piano notes, just about anything you can think of. And this is how you wire it up in Reaper to get a sidechain gate. I hope you learned something, I hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.